Look at this, we've got a lioness in a puddle. This is one of the lionesses of the Black Rock Pride. We went past the den where the little cubs are supposed to be. There were no adults there and so the cubs are still inside. And so I think what we're going to do is just quickly show you this lioness and we'll probably go back and very patiently wait at the den site for the adults to come back because they will go back there and eventually suckle the cubs. Now, I'm going to show you something quite disgusting. And uh, for those of you who are squeamish or perhaps quite young, don't worry. Uh, what we're going to show you is part of nature. And what we're going to do now is just swing across to the right-hand side and we'll show you why she's panting. She's very full. They ate a zebra last night. There it is. And we'll just stay wide like that. And what you can see there is the insides of the zebra. It was a very good meal for three lionesses. And it means that, of course, they will be able now to feed their little cubs. So although it wasn't a very nice night for the zebra, it was a very good night, of course, for the lions. They have to eat, and that's how they do it. So sometimes nature can seem a bit cruel. And then... Apart from the fact that she's panting like this, it's not very hot. She's panting like this because she's so very full of a zebra. And because when they get full, they produce a lot of heat as they try to digest food. And so they have to pant to get rid of the, of the heat. Then, we've also got a number of very special birds around here. They are called vultures. And the ones that we've got here are called hooded vultures. They're called hooded because it looks like they've got little hoods on their heads. They are the smallest vulture species that we get here. And they've got very sharp beaks and that allows them to get in amongst the bones of the dead thing that they want to eat. And I think in the United States often you call what we might call vultures, you would call buzzards. And so this is what we would call a vulture. And then way beyond them Almost inside Tanzania, we've got a little group of elephants coming this way slowly. They will be under no danger from the lions. And Kaylee, you want to know if lions can run very fast? Yes, lions can run very fast. Probably the very fastest lion in the world can run at around 50 miles per hour. That's 80 kilometers per hour, so that's very fast indeed. Much faster than, for example, Usain Bolt can run the 100 meters. Now, David, our ranger, has just spotted another lion coming. There she is. There we go. Dylan, I'm afraid I missed your question. Here comes the other lioness. You wanted to know, basically, I think, how much lions can eat. Well... The best way to answer how much a lion can eat is to think of you yourself, right? So I'm going to assume that you are one of the, let's say you're eight years old, so you probably weigh in the region of 20 kilograms, which is in the region of 44 pounds. And so can you imagine that you could eat 10 pounds of meat in one sitting? So you had one meal and somebody put 10 pounds of steak on the table in front of you. That is how much a lion can eat, but even more, of course, because the lion's much heavier than you. So a lioness like this one walking towards us here probably weighs in the region of 250 pounds, and so she can eat around about, ooh, what should we say? Oh, she's so tired, you see that? She can eat around about 60 pounds of meat in one go. Isn't that amazing? Now, you also want to know how many lions there are in a pride. That can vary. It's not always the same. Sometimes it's as few as one, which is not really a pride, but sometimes a lion can live on its own. And sometimes there are up to 30 or 40 lions in one pride. That's very, very unusual, though. Uh, normally, in this area and in the other area where we work, in the Kruger National Park of South Africa, the average number is three or four lionesses. That's what these are of course and then their little cubs and in this case it's three lionesses and nine cubs remember the males are not part of the pride they live outside of the pride now this is very special 
but even more special perhaps to some is the spotted cat of Africa with the cheetah man of Africa in the far north. <laughs>